I started learning Mandarin at secondary school in the UK. It was something that I found that I enjoyed. My teachers were fantastic at bringing it to life in the classroom and that really captured my imagination and really made me want to carry on learning the language. It is a challenging language. The fact that there are more than 50,000 characters really means that you do have to push yourself to learn the language. But once you start mastering it, the rewards are enormous. It means that if I can do that, I can do pretty much any other language in the world. What I love about living here in China is that I'm able to really see history before my eyes, being able to see things like the Great Wall and knowing how significant it is and being able to have that in your backyard, I think is amazing. Working here has been sort of one of the most amazing opportunities I've ever had to really immerse myself in a culture. Okay. It really broadens your horizons and gets you to grips with the language very quickly as well. People are really friendly here and just being able to show you speak a little Mandarin goes a long way. The world is a very big place and China's place in it is increasingly getting bigger and bigger. There's more Chinese companies um, who are investing abroad, not just in the UK, but all over the place, like America, in Africa, across East Asia, Southeast Asia. So even though you might be learning Mandarin and you might be using it in the UK or you might be using it in China, there's an abundance of opportunities elsewhere around the world where the language will come in handy because that's where there's a lot of Chinese investment happening. So yeah, I see the future being one where more engagement with China is going to be happening across the globe.